What is going on, Patriot Gardeners? It's your buddy Murdoch. And well, I'm back with another gardening adventure. This one is actually going to be a fan request on overwintering peppers. And if you're like me and winter hasn't been so kind, you might have some pepper plants that uh, aren't looking so great. So I'm going to show you how to take these that aren't really looking so great. It might be showing some signs of promise and uh, turn them into something that looks about like that. And it's a lot easier to do than what you may think. Um, this one actually still has some peppers that are left over from uh, the winter. But if you look very close, based off the method that I'm doing here, I want you to take a look at the blooms that you can see. This pepper plant is entirely loaded down with all sorts of peppers coming for spring. And so this is actually going to be a two for one. I'm going to show you how to get your plant to respond and do this. And I'm going to show you what to do after it does this on its first year to get it into a bigger location like these pots that we have right here. So, we're going to have a rejuvenation, and we are going to have us a transplanting video. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me get this set up here so nobody gets motion sick from moving around too much, and we will get started. All right. So, what we got here is a 46-quart, uh, I guess you'd call it like a plastic barrel or pot, um, and I've already filled it up in the bottom. I've drilled some extra holes in it uh, using a one inch drill bit and thrown some old rotten wood chunks in the bottom and filled it up about uh, maybe halfway with some of our uh, potting mix that we make up. And instead of going into that in this video, I will actually leave in the description a, uh, a list of all the stuff that we use to make this potting mix, which is absolutely phenomenal. And, and grows things quite well. It's the same mix that I use for the tomatoes. Um, so if you've seen any of those videos, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You get monstrous results. And I'd like to thank everybody for all the uh, likes, the shares, and the uh, subscriptions that I've gotten in the last few weeks. I, I really am absolutely blown away. Thank you all so very, very much. It, it helps me reach others and teach other people how to do this and how to grow because right now it's pretty important patriots that you get growing so we have our overwinter pepper here we're going to go ahead and, and leave him alone we're not going to transplant it but what we do to our peppers to get them to respond like the other one you saw that we're going to transplant is we basically come through after our first growth and you can see it right here on the end there's a little tiny leaf starting to sprout right there and you can see all this real nasty stuff what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to pinch off all of these bigger old leaves throw them over there in the compost and anything that was from last year even some of these little tiny guys that were overwintered and stuff like that we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove those and i'll save you guys from uh watching a video where I pull leaves for 15 minutes. So that's the first stage in what we do. The next stage in what we do when our plant is getting ready to come outside or, you know, spring is getting ready to start showing up, we're going to go ahead and prime our plant and let it know that, wow, it's really time to get going. We've got some gas to get going. So we're going to take, you can take a stick. Um, we have one of our patriots in our Telegram gardening group who has come up with an amazing little method of injecting this stuff using knitting needles and uh, it's actually quite amazing. I'll, I'm actually going to get some, uh, produce it and then give her full credit for that where credit is due. But you can take a stick just like this and you're going to basically, I've already done it to this plant as you can see by the new growth and you're going to push it right down on the dirt about two or three inches away from the main stem right here. And you're going to push that down about this deep about four or five inches and just move it back and forth and make a little one inch hole that goes down in there down to meet the roots and what i like to do is get some of my dr earth 
pure gold organic natural handcrafted blend all-purpose fertilizer this 222 blend um, this stuff is really really good it'll break down over about oh 20 to 30 days and during that set that reawakening time of your plant during the very very early stages of spring it's going to find that stuff right down near the roots and it is just going to cause this thing to explode so that's it that's all you have to do to get your pepper plant to really 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 start blowing up if you find that you have a straggling you know branch this plant doesn't have any on it um, but if you were to have like a real long sucker that was hanging off, I would recommend trimming that off low here. Um, this plant has already been trimmed up a little bit. But getting these old dead leaves off that look like this is really going to help your plant not send nutrients to things that are already on their way out the front door. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, we've got our pot filled up with some wood chunks, about halfway with our potting mix that we make up here so we're going to take our plant and we are actually going to set the whole pot right down in here just like this and let me scoot you guys back so you might be able to see a little better and no we're not going to plant it in the pot this is actually just to check our soil depth this is going to come up to just underneath the rim and once i water it, it's actually going to settle down just a little bit so we're going to take this plant we are going to hold it in one hand underneath here and we're going to go around and squeeze all the way around the outside of the pot loosening that soil and since this is a stake plant we're going to not only grab the stake but we're going to grab the stem we're going to turn it upside down give it a shake ditch the pot and as you can see here we've got a nice root mass going on she was ready to get transplanted. So let's set her down in the dirt real nice here. Just like that. And you can come along on the outside and you can, you know, score the soil here a little bit if you'd like to, um, just to open up these roots like you see right here. Let me get the camera down there so you guys can see real good. Just like this. And that basically releases the edges of the roots, as you can see, but doesn't harm them. And that'll help your plant come into contact with the uh, soil more readily. And I'm going to take a pot and scoop out some of our other dirt and go ahead and start filling it up. And this soil was uh, pretty moistened a little bit. Uh, not enough that you can... Uh, you know squeeze water out of it but enough that when you you know squeeze it it kind of holds form just like that right there and so we're going to go around this whole plant real quick and get this thing all nice and filled up then i will show you something else we're going to do to really help our plant out since peppers like a rich medium they're very very heavy feeders uh, let me tell you you think that you're giving your pepper enough food and uh <laughs> you're really not uh i would almost if you're using the organic based plant foods um like the uh, stuff i'm using here whatever it calls for on the package when you're doing the uh, pepper feeding which should be at least once every 30 days um i would say Oh, I do one and a half times the amount of whatever it calls for. Uh, and that's just personal preference because I know how heavy these things feed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the plant just like this. And I'm going to lightly press down, not compact the soil, but I'm just going to lightly press it down around the outside, leaving about, oh, about two inches of this plant sticking up from where it used to be. Now I'm going to take a handful, about yay much. Of that dr earth plant food and i'm going to go all the way around that ring that i made all the way around the outside then to that we're going to give our plant a little bit of a nitrogen shock and so we're going to give it some blood meal and again not an exact measurement about a handful just like this 
and we're going to go around the whole perimeter of this plant. And one last thing, just to raise the uh, phosphorus level in the soil and to help with any blossom and rot, uh, this really does help produce more peppers. We're also going to get about a handful of bone meal. And like I said, this is going to be something that uh, you're either going to give it the slow release pellet formula or the uh, granular you know plant food every 30 days or you could use the uh, liquid plant food if you prefer i would stick with organic and i would uh shy away from that stuff that's anything but a miracle you catch my drift now uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to come around and we are going to fill that little mode in all around our plant and we are going to cover that stuff up just like so and then we're going to go ahead and just slightly press that right up against that mound just like so and now that pepper plant is going to grow out and it is going to find that stuff in the next couple days and it already has the explosive growth that we talked about from giving it all those nutrients about a month ago but now that it's got it like this and can find those nutrients it's really going to explode and all of these blooms that you see here will actually take fruit like these little guys here and start producing so many peppers more peppers than you have ever seen on your pepper plant and there is one other thing that we need to do patriots if you all remember in loving member memory of old alabama gardener we're going to go ahead and water it well and watch it grow and i don't care if you just put something in the ground or if you're just transplanting or doing whatever you're doing as soon as you expose those roots and get them out, you need to get that plant back in with some water and get that soil to settle down and get those roots nice and wet so they can get a good drink. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And you can do this. Anyone can do this. That brings me to another point in my video. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to start growing. Turn off the TVs. Turn off the videos. Heck, you can even turn this one off. Go get your kids and get some red Solo cups. and Get some dirt. Drop some beans in the soil. Watch it grow. I say this in my videos, but it is the truth. Father started with a garden for a reason. It was the best place for him to teach his children to grow. That is not a metaphor. That is a lesson for life. I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope this helps some of you. And if it does, please consider to like and share this video. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And hit that bell notification and you'll get all the videos that I post up in the next couple weeks. Heading right into spring. Thank you all, Patriots. I love you all very much. God bless. Murdoch out.